In this section, we're going to start looking at sequences and series. And I want to wind the clock back a bit, all the way back uh, to when you first started looking at sequences. Okay, So this is before uh, you ever met things like the nth term or anything like that. And you go all the way back and what you would have is you would have a starting number, so let's say start with 6, and you were told a rule that would get you from one term to the next. Okay, So in this case, we're going to start with the number 6, and our rule is times 2 and take away 10. Okay, So using this, we could start to write down uh, a few of the terms. So we would call the first term, let's say the first term, we're going to give this uh, symbol u1, okay? And that's going to be 6. So the second term, I times the 6 by 2 and take 10. And so my second term is 2. Then the third term is 6, oh uh, sorry, not 6, the third term, sorry, is the second term times by 2 and then take away 10. OK, so I'd have minus 6. Then the fourth term is the previous term, times by 2, take away 10. So we'd have minus 12, take away 10, so minus 22. And we could go on and on to find u5, u6, u7, and so on. In fact, you can use um, your calculator to generate this sequence very very quickly, because if you just type 6, so the starting number, number, and press equals, that puts it into the calculator's memory, and then you do times by 2, so you should see answer times 2, take away 10, and then you can keep pressing equals, and you will see the sequence generated on your calculator. Okay, So that will enable you to do it very quickly. Now, in order to formalise this, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce what is known as an inductive definition. Okay, so we have an inductive definition. Now, an inductive definition um, has two bits of information. It tells you the starting number and it tells you the rule okay so we would be told that u1 is equal to 6 okay so we'd be told the first term and we'd be told the rule now the rule is telling us how we get from one term to the next okay so the next term which I will say is un plus 1 so this represents the next term is equal to, well, I need to do uh, times the previous term by 2. So the previous term would be un. That's the previous term. Times it by 2 and take away 10. OK? So I could write this as two lots of un. take away 10. So this would be my inductive definition. I have the first term and what is referred to as a recurrence relation. So it's a fancy name for the bit that tells you how to get from one term to the next. OK? So for example, I could be told an inductive definition um, like uh, un plus 1 is equal to, um, well, let's say 10 over un minus 3, for example. OK? And I would also need a starting term. So let's say that u1 is um, 100. OK, so if u1 is 100, then u2 
is 10 over the previous term. So 10 over 100 take away 3. So 10 over 100 take away 3 is minus 29 over 10. So U3 is 10 over the previous term. Take away 3. So 10 divided by the previous term. Take away 3. And that gets me minus 187 over 29. OK. And I could then calculate U4, U5, U6, and so on in exactly the same way. So what I'm really introducing you to here is what is known as this inductive definition. And really, it's uh, a formal way of writing down something that you learnt at primary school, OK? Where you're given the first term and a rule that gets you from one term to the next.